Welcome back to our channel Truck and Trends. Today, we're diving into the world of semi-trucks and uncovering the mystery behind a crucial component, the fifth wheel. Now, you might have seen these massive rigs on the road, but have you ever wondered what exactly a fifth wheel is and how it works? Well, let's break it down. According to this fascinating article, a fifth wheel is not to be confused with an RV trailer. It's actually a vital part of a semi-truck's tractor. It's the plate above the tractor's back wheels where a semi-trailer's kingpin hooks to the tractor. Essentially, the connection point allows the tractor to turn with the trailer. Think of it as the glue that holds the whole operation together. Now, to understand how it works, let's look at the key components. You've got the kingpin, which is this metal piece protruding from the trailer, and then you've got the fifth wheel, which is a flat, horseshoe-shaped coupling device installed on the tractor. When the kingpin engages with the fifth wheel, it allows the trailer to rotate against it, enabling smooth movement. And, of course, a little grease helps reduce the friction, prolonging the life of these components. But why is the fifth wheel so important? Well, it serves two key purposes. First, it allows the tractor and trailer to articulate and steer comfortably, making those tight turns possible. Imagine trying to navigate without it, it'd be a nightmare. And secondly, it evenly distributes the weight between the tractor and trailer, ensuring safe hauling. And here's where it gets interesting. There are two main types of fifth wheels, fixed and sliding. Fixed fifth wheels stay in the same place on the tractor, ideal for consistent loads. But if you're dealing with varied load types, a sliding fifth wheel is the way to go. It can adjust to accommodate different weights, ensuring stability on the road. Now, did you know that the term, fifth wheel, actually has roots in horse-drawn carriages and wagons? It was originally a device to facilitate turning, much like it does for semi-trucks today. Fifth wheels were initially not a complete circle and were hand-forged. When mass production of buggy parts began in the early 19th century, fifth wheels were among the first products to be made. A number of patents were awarded for fifth wheel design. Edward and Charles Everett, Quincy, Illinois, patented a type of fifth wheel in 1850, followed by Gutch's metallic head block and fifth wheel in 1870 and Wilcox's fifth wheel in 1905. And as technology advanced, so did the design of fifth wheels. From hand-forged pieces to patented innovations, they've come a long way. And there you have it, the ins and outs of the fifth wheel. Next time you see a semi-truck on the road, you'll know just how important this little component really is. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more fascinating insights. Until next time, drive safely and remember trucking makes the world go round.